Okay, guys, I know I saw some posts like a couple hours ago, but life happens. I have a kid, a sick kid at that, so, yeah. Sorry for the delay, but I had to put my son to sleep and, you know, deal with his crying and stuff. So, oh, girl, you were in high school? Oh, girl. Well, it was, high school really wasn't that bad for me. I mean, I really didn't really attend. I mean, I went to school, like, every day with that. I mean, I attended my classes, and then I left when I wanted to. And, you know, I had people to see, things to do, <laughs> such to, or to go home and take a nap. Shit, I was, you know, preoccupied. But here we go, you guys. Get up, Valentina. You're going to love the dresses I bought. No, I hate dresses. Too bad. Mama said I got to get you ready for your interview with USA Today. USA Today? Yes. And you know what that means. We get to meet the hot anchor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, girl. Oh, my God. Hey, Valentina, Layla. Uh, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to sleep. You're real rude, Ralph. He sleeps as much as I slop. Like, he sleeps as much as a sloth. I heard that, Angel. I bought some dresses that I think you would like. Who cares what I like? I want that hot news anchor to like my outfit. What about Alex? Alex who? Girl. I'm gonna go shower. Thirty minutes later, all the dresses are white to symbolize your innocence. <laughs> I'd rather wear black. Black is sexy. Too bad. Are you ready to try on your dresses? Sure. Let's go with fancy. Oh girl, it's just this is such a nice dress. You look like a princess. Are you happy about this? No, girl. Yeah, try on another one. Let's go with elegant. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, girl. No, girl. Let's go with sex, say. Okay, girl. Okay, we can go with that. This will do. This will do. Let's go. Let's, let's get to going. Good girl. That was stressing me. Fuck out with the dress situation. Good morning. Close your mouth, sir. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> you look beautiful, Valentina. Oh, thanks. Are you ready for the interview? Yep. And I'm ready to meet that hot news anchor, Jacob Wims. What? He's not that attractive. Um, yes he is. His blue eyes are so dreamy. Green eyes are better. <laughs> I prefer blue eyes. Hmm. I better. Uh, I'm better looking than Jake. You're all right, I guess. But Jake, he's gorgeous. Well, I heard he has a lot. <laughs> I heard he has a small dick. So, oh my. <laughs> Is the great Alexander Callahan jealous? No, I don't get jealous. Girl, you're jealous. <laughs> I'm not. Hmm. Mm hmm. I believe you. Let's go over some guidelines for the interview. Okay. First and foremost, we're gonna be on national television. So I'm I need you not to be feisty, act nice, and lovable. <laughs> I'm always nice and lovable, bitch. <laughs> mm hmm. Sure. Secondly, when the anchor asks you questions, don't hesitate with your answers. What if they ask me something I don't know? Lie. Make sure it's believable. Okay, girl. This last thing might be hard for you. I need you to act like you're in love with me. Why would that be hard for me? Might I remind you 
of all the times you've said you're going to slap me until next week. <laughs> I can still act like I love you on national television. I'm a great actor. We need actress, girl. You unconscious, uh, you unconsciously tense up any time I come near you, and you flinch any time I touch you. I don't do that. I I won't do it on national television. Then let's bet on it. Bet on it. Bet on it. Bet on it. Okay, girl, you're gonna sing. You're gonna sing it, girl. Okay. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Singing bet on it for musical <laughs> for high school musical. <laughs> Haven't you watched the movie? No. You're so uncult uncultured. As I was saying. <laughs> you mad like shit, girl. <laughs> Let's see who can act the most in love during the interview. Any rules? No rules. Okay, I'm in. What are we betting on? If I win, you have to be my servant for a day. And if you win, I have to be your servant for a day. And what would I do... If I was your servant, anything I want, anything he wanted, it sounded so dangerous, girl. I don't, he might want some ass, girl. And I don't know if I want to like, really give him no ass. The idea of having Alex as my servant was tempting, very tempting. You're wrong, Callahan. But how would we determine who wins the bet? At the end of the interview, we'll ask the anchors who they think is most in love okay i hope you're prepared to be my servant i'm not gonna lose baby i never lose a bet you're gonna lose this one <laughs> just watch and see hair flip bitch <laughs> stop checking on my ass Alan. but it's such a nice ass <laughs> it would be Insulting to not check it out. Pervert. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who the hell is that guy? Anytime a hot, influential guy was around, a roast thanking ass was always flirting and ready to jump their bombs. And since Jacob Wins was a news reporter... Rose wanted some attention on herself, as always, because this bitch, <sighs> ugh, ugh, I don't like the sister bitch. I just want y'all to know that. Hey, sis, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm telling Jacob about a non-profit organization I started. What is she talking about? She didn't create a non-profit. That's nice. Will you excuse us for a second, Jake? Uh, yeah, sure. Take your time. Thank you. Um, you really should have done something with your hair, Valentina. Why does it look bad? It looks hideous. I mean, I guess I still have time to curl it. Great. You curl your hair and I'll go talk to Jacob some more. Hail to the no. Come back here, girl. Do you have a problem with me speaking to Jacob? No, but I have a problem with you trying to sleep with him. What's the big deal? I can sleep with him if I want. <laughs> The big deal is that you're not supposed to sleep with men in the first place. You're supposed to stay a virgin until your wedding night, girl. If father finds out how many guys you've slept with, father won't find out because you're not going to snitch, right? Mm, I don't know, Rose, girl. I don't really like you, bitch. Just be careful. You don't want what happened to, or with Jay to happen again, girl. I'll never let that happen again. Jay was Rose's boyfriend three years ago. A lot of shit happened between them, but that's a story for another day. Okay, girl. Well, why did you just stop the whole story to say that shit? Are you going to continue to scold me or can I go now? You can go. Wait. What, Valentina, girl? Uh, does my hair actually look bad? It's fine. Thank God. Ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Alex takes my hand and we walk into the office. I'm 
Mr. Callahan, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Alex starts to talk in a rich <laughs> Irish accent. Damn it, I should have known he would go for the accent. He's Irish after all. And everyone falls head over heels in love with the with the accents. Well, two can play this game, Callahan. And Miss Giovanni, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I start to speak in a thick Italian accent, bitch. <laughs> one that is that is alluring and sexy. No one can resist an Italian accent. Girl, who you thought a girl? <laughs> And I think Alex knows that too. Whoa, you're Italian? Yes, I was born in Italy. Complete bullshit. I was born in New York. <laughs> but saying I was born made me more interesting to the guy. I hope you don't mind me saying, but your accent is sexy. Shake up, you're making me blush. Girl, I knew this would anger Alex. I wanted him angry. That way he would seem like a cold bastard and I would <laughs> look like a loving fiance <clears throat> it's all a part of my master plan to make Alex my servant <laughs> Alex tenses up and starts to ball his fist up uh, at his sides I'm gonna use his anger to my advantage are you okay baby you seem kind of tense I'm just nervous that every guy watching this, this interview will see how beautiful my fiance is damn how my hand got Tricks up his sleeve. Uh, I start to blush involuntarily. You're you're too good to me. <laughs> That's because I love you. Touche. You win this round, girl. Are you are you guys ready for the interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start. Where did you two meet? Answer. Alex and I met at this gorgeous private beach. Um, it was a beautiful sunny day. He was wearing a sexy underwear style speedo. <laughs> I'm, supposed, I'm supposed to act loving, but there's no rule against embarrassing Alex. Alex was wearing a speedo. Oh shit, I can feel Alex. Sleeping next to me. <laughs> oh wait, can I go back? I'm sorry, but I didn't give two shits. <laughs> I was having fun now. <laughs> yep, it was red and skin tight. It was red and skin tight. <laughs> I could see everything below the waist if you know what I mean. Oh, I do. <laughs> Baby, I was only wearing it because a little boy with cancer dared me to. Wow, you're very noble of you. What? That is not very noble of him, y'all. Thank you, Jacob. Fucking lying ass motherfucker. Damn it. He made himself seem like the good guy. Tell me more. Well, despite the speedo, I could tell he was a bet he was very handsome. So I worked up the nerve to talk to him. But but what? Well, he was with another girl. Yeah. 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 Make sure you put that shade on because I don't want to hit you. Mm-hmm. Bad y'all. That's right. Uh, you're use I'm using your slutty past against you. Oh no. Oh no, girl. Horrible, right? Don't worry. The girl was with, oh my god, the girl with me was my publicist. Girl, you a liar, girl. <laughs> Even though we all lying, but you lying and the goddamn truth ain't in you, honey. <sighs> she was just taking pictures of me for the cancer patient. That's a relief. Anywho, he came up to me and started flirting relentlessly. And I knew immediately he was the one. Wow. How long did you? How, how long have you guys been together? Uh, <laughs> so, the question that you asked here it changed. They were into what? Um. Okay, been there for ten months. That's a long. 
<clears throat> don't you think you're getting a bit arrogant? Nope. I know that I'm in love with Alex. And that's all that matters. Very true. I have one more question for you too. Sure, go ahead. It's no secret that you're a player, Alex. Are you still sleeping with multiple women a <laughs> week or have you stopped, girl? <laughs> yes! Jake, thank you, girl. <laughs> no, I can play the role the sympathy, sympathy card. <sighs> I don't know if I want to talk about that. Baby. Even though Alex had a fake guilty and remorseful expression, I can see the warning in his eyes. <laughs> but, but he can't scare me. It, it hurts when I see him with another girl. <laughs> I love him. I need him. It breaks my heart when he cheats. <laughs> but I could never leave him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Val. <laughs> Jake looks at me with sympathy in his eyes and then shoots a glare at Alex's way. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> this better make me win, girl. If y'all will never cheat on you again, not after. After what? Not after Valentina's car accident. Girl, what? <laughs> y'all doing this interview is the most, child. When I tell you, this is the most. What the fuck, Alex? You were in a car accident? Oh, uh, yes, it was last year. What happened? Um, We had just gotten into a very bad argument. Val ran into the road, and a drunk driver came out of nowhere and hit her. Then, when I got to her, she was a bloody mess. <laughs> she told me she loved me, and then she stopped breathing. My my heart fucking broke, man. <laughs> a life without Valentina isn't a life I want to live. Oh, my God. Oh, Alex. Fucking lie ass. Oh, girl, who you telling? Is he fake crying, girl? Ugh. Jake better not believe his bullshit, girl. Man, I feel you. Why you said Jake? No, girl, what? <laughs> I cannot deal with this shit, y'all. Obviously, you're head over heels in love with Valentina. Alex, oh God. Once Jake said those words, I knew I lost the goddamn bad shit. <laughs> it was a pleasure interviewing you two. Boy, we both. Thank you for your time. Alex, can I borrow you, your fiance for a minute? Sure. <sighs> God damn. It's Giovanni. I have a business opportunity for you. What is it? You're gorgeous, fun, and extremely lovable. I think you'll do wonderful as a model. A model? I have a friend who works for Vogue, and she said her department needs a new female model. Are you up for the job? I'll think about it. Okay, she'll be at the engagement party tonight, so you can speak with her then. Okay. Thank you so much for everything. You too. It was nice meeting you. Really, Alex? A car accident? It worked, didn't it? <laughs> you cheated, bitch. You cheated hard, ho. How can I cheat when we established no rules? <laughs> I hate you. I love you too, servant. <laughs> and by the way, I think we would be. I think you would be a hot model. You are eavesdropping. Yep. And I like the sound of my wife being a model. Do you really think I could be a model? Of course. You're stunning, Val. You would make a great model. Thanks. I have some business to do before our engagement party. You can do whatever you want. Okay. And be prepared to be my servant tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh-huh. The whole entire day, baby. Girl. I have to do anything he wants. What if he wants to do something sexual? I'm fucking screwed, girl. To be continued. Well, that was a, a bit longer. Hope you guys enjoyed it.